Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. Okay, so in today's video we are moving into the living room. So this will be the first of many decorating videos to come here in the living room area. I will pull back as much as I possibly can today. There is quite a bit going on here in this room because I'm working on... Um, several different um, productions that will be coming up. I am trying, I'm going to try to hold true to my posting three videos a week, um, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but you know, I might have some extras e in there even um, between those days, so we'll just see. Um, so pretty much, I hope all of you had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Um, ours was fabulous. We actually, um, so, you know, I'm one of those 80s, you know, 80 kids, okay? And um, so going to the local bowling alley and playing video games and all of that and putting quarters down on the machine, waiting for our turn. That was just a big thing, you know, when I was growing up. So we played a lot of the retro video games over the holiday and it was wonderful. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? I can go more into that story um, later on. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to give you the best overall view that I can right now in this room. I will be working in the corner. Many things, uh, well, not many, but a few things will be changing. Um, and this is evening decorating, so hopefully um, the lighting will be okay in this video now this first part right here as you can see obviously it is light outside but i continued on on another day and it was evening decorating but it's time to bring in all the wonderful magic of christmas so we're going to work right here to the right today before the next video is going to be a grand, and I promise a grand Christmas tree this year. Many things will be going on um, with this tree that was purchased from Lowe's. Um, the buffet actually was um, a Facebook Marketplace find, and the mirror, I have this linked in my Amazon storefront, but I don't know if any are in, but it is from a company called Uttermost. Um, U-T-T-E-R most, M-O-S-T. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is up on the mirror and I have this basket. It has just, um, it's willow goodness. Um, this was purchased from uh, World Market. Yes, that's where I, I purchased this basket from. Um, it, it was a couple years ago, but they are pretty good about having a, having a nice variety of baskets at World Market. So I just used one of those command hooks and placed the, back, the basket in the center of the mirror. And I decided to use um, some holly berries. These were purchased from the Flower Gallery in Manassas. And I just love the look of this holly. I like to bend them back. There's quite a few stems here, which is great because you can cover a large area. But I also decided that I wanted to add in some other Christmas greenery as well. And I believe this was also purchased from the Flower Gallery in Manassas. If not, then it was definitely Hobby Lobby, but I believe it was the Flower Gallery. So I did use all three holly berries. I placed one to the left, the other to the right 
and then one in the center and placed the Christmas greenery up front. Giving the holly berries the height in the center to help cover up that command hook. They're great to work with because you don't damage your walls all up. This is my lamp that was purchased from Horchow. Now Horchow, they are um, a luxury, um, you know, high-end type of um, de decor site. But what I love to do is to wait for those cells to come up. And this is just a beautiful um, uh, bird lamp that actually, Oh gosh, 30% off I received on this. So make sure when you go to their site that you wait for their 30% off. Sometimes it's even more, but everything on the site always goes 30% off. And that's horchow.com, H-O-R-C-H-O-W. It's kind of addicting, so be careful. Now the lamp was in my bedroom, but I decided since I just have one, I was just gonna bring it back out here. And here we have, I've been shining the silver um, because during the holidays, during Christmas, I love for my silver to be shiny, but for the rest of the year, I, I just absolutely am in love with the tarnished look. But during the holidays, shining the silver is a must for me. And this tray um, was a recent garage sale find. It's quite heavy. And I believe I purchased it. Uh, I think it was $10. I believe so. And then I will use um, this tartan table runner. I had to look everywhere for this piece. I could not find this runner. And finally, I came across it. And I believe, yes, it was Pier 1. I so miss shopping their storefront. Now, I, I do know that they, they have a website still, but, you know, it's not the same. There's no storefront. But I love the tartan plaids during Christmas. So I placed the silver tray on top and um, I'm starting to find more um, silver pieces for my home because I absolutely adore silver. Okay, so we have this, um, it's an old world style uh, look and feel this fruit topiary with the pine cones and the greenery. This was actually purchased from Hobby Lobby and I know that they do still sell them and they are having quite a, a large sell, but I've had this one for a few years now. I just placed it over onto the right side of the tray. Now in the living room, there's going to be many, uh, quite a bit of, excuse me, silver and gold this year. Okay, so I have all these um, pieces of pine. It's faux pine that was purchased from um, Hobby Lobby. And I just clipped off several different branches. And I do not know if they still carry this or not. And on top, so I just placed it on top of the tray. I didn't want to cover up all of the tray because I want to see the silver, right? And I just placed a large pine cone and then a very large um, Christmas ornament. And then I have another here. I love the silver and gold mercuries during the holiday. And now I believe Okay, so these ornaments, they were either purchased from Hobby Lobby or Home Goods. And I was just you know, looking at the tray. Well, 
first here. I have these um, faux fruit picks. These were actually purchased from the flower gallery. Now, in my description box, that's next, uh, that's underneath the title, I believe, or next to it, it's changed. Um, but if I think it's more, if you just click the more, then my drop down box will come and I'll have items linked. Maybe not that many this video, but the next video, um, I'll try to put as much as I possibly can um, for sites. Uh, to visit if, if all of you are or any of you are interested in trying to find some of these items. Okay, so this tray, it's bothering me because everything's down low. Um, I, I just don't have enough. Um, there's just not enough height, you know, items going on here. So I decided to bring in this very large ornament that I purchased several years ago from Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know how many of you remember these, but they're nice because you can place them on a table or you have the ability to hang them as well. Today, this one will just be on the tray. But I just really wanted to lift things up a bit, get more visual interest going on here. And just by adding in that one ornament, it's a good start. But then the tree was sort of, um, not sort of, it was, it was bothering me. Um, so I decided it, I need to bring in some height. So I have this um, vintage pewter vase that I purchased. Look at that moss all at the bottom. Bottom. But I like when I have the felt at the bottom because it always protects the surface that I'm decorating on. I still have my hydrangea inside. I'll make sure to clean it out. Embarrassing, but anyhow. Real life, right? Real life stuff. <laughs> okay, so I placed the tree on top of... Um, the pewter, I'm sorry, the pewter, uh, what am I wanting to say this is? A urn, a, a pot, um, anyhow, it gave it the height that I was looking for. And now I want to get a little bit more of the old world feel going on here in this arrangement. Working with the fruits, um, whether they're dried or faux or sugared. It just gives that wonderful old world look and feel. So again, I place a basket up on the mirror and a lamp with different types of ornaments and pine cones on the tray. And now I want to add in just a little more um, to the sides to go along with the fruit topiary. So one more thing was needed, okay, because you see we have the silver, the golds, and we have the fruit going on in the tree, and I really wanted to pull some colors out of that tree, not just the silver and golds, and I just accomplished that with one simple ornament. And I placed it off to the side, and now it all really is, for me, um, coming together nicely. And I decided to pull the tray forward because again, I'm going to be adding in a couple more magical items here. And that are the, the, the fabulous, fabulous golden nutcrackers that I purchased from Home Goods. Now, nutcrackers aren't for everybody, but I absolutely love them because they give that magical old world feel. Make sure if you enjoyed this video to hit like, leave me a wonderful comment, maybe telling me something about how your Thanksgiving went. And if you have not already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel.